Hi guys, so I'm Daniela Christina and this is my first trimester pregnancy video. I really, really wanted to do this video for a while now because I'm in my second trimester of pregnancy. I've only just announced to you guys in my last video that I am pregnant. Um, well, it wasn't really like a big announcement, but I just well, I wanted to mention it to you guys because if I do any videos and show any clothes and there's a massive bump, then you're probably going to suspect that there's something going on or... My stomach's just getting really big for some weird reason. So yeah, so I am currently 18 weeks pregnant. I'm actually nearly 19 weeks pregnant. I'm two days away from 19 weeks pregnant. So I'm about a week away from five months pregnant. So I'm about four and three quarters months at the moment. And yeah, I thought I'd do a first trimester video because I've seen other people talk about their first trimesters and I think it's quite helpful for people that are pregnant, people that maybe want to have a child or do you know what, it's just interesting just to know about the craziness that goes on when you become pregnant because my life is changing like mad but in good ways, in bad ways and I just think it's best to just talk to you guys about it. So first of all, before I carry on with my video, I just want to thank ugh, there's a hair in the way. I just want to thank all you guys for your comments. It, they've just been absolutely wonderful. On my last video, obviously I opened up to you guys about addiction, about depression, about anxiety, um, and announcing that I'm pregnant. And the response to that video was just so amazing. I was just so happy. I'm still receiving loads of comments now from my last video a week ago. And you've just made me so happy to be on YouTube and so happy to have told you what I have told you because it was a big thing and I didn't know at first you know should I or should I not so soon coming back to YouTube but you you know your response has just been so nice so I just want to thank you guys so much for just being nice people it just shows that um that there are nice people out there and also I do want to do videos to help any of you guys or just to let you guys know about my story <clears throat> about depression anxiety addiction and all that and, and more any any topic I want to talk about and I want to um, just ramble to you guys really I find it fun I don't know why I just do so my first trimester Wow, my first trimester of being pregnant was a nightmare. I've got to say, I've never felt in my life so, I'm not going to swear, rubbish. I felt absolutely rubbish in my first trimester. I didn't know what was going on. I thought a devil had gone inside me and had just taken me over and I, and I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to get my body back. I felt like I was just being, being turned into a monster. I felt drained, I felt tired, I felt really ill, I felt run down all the time. Um, I've stopped working now so I'm on maternity but in my first, for the whole of my first trimester I was working full time from 7 till 6, 30, Monday to Friday um, as, as a private nanny and I was literally drained but I didn't stop, I didn't take any time off, I just, you know, I thought, you know, you've got to get on with it. I got myself pregnant so it's my fault, I've got to get on with it and I've got to work and I've got to earn some money. But yeah, I felt really tired and really ill, um, just run down really. And, and I was getting worried because I didn't know whether it was normal to feel like this. I knew obviously the symptoms and stuff because my sister's been pregnant. She's told me about what it's like and obviously I've I've looked up symptoms and, and what I'm going to be expecting. But truly, I was just so, so drained and so tired and I've never felt that, like, possessed. I've, I, was, I felt like I'd been taken over. Um, there's a mixture, not just of how my body felt, but also how mentally I, I, I was going through a lot of changes. You know, now I'm in my second trimester, I'm almost five months. It's settled in a bit more now. Obviously, I've still, I'm still a bit up and down. But in my first trimester, I was literally like, oh my God, I'm having, like a little human being is growing inside me. I'm 23 years old. I'm still working on my career. Um, 
I want to be able to give my child everything. Like I've, I love children. I always have. I've loved. I've always loved dogs, and I've always loved kids. So. For me to have a child is the best thing in the world because I, you know, I, I just know in myself that I'm going to put my all into being, you know, the best mother I can be. But when I, but in my first trimester, I was just, I was just so anxious, I was so worried. I just kept, I kept saying to my partner, I kept saying to my family, um, more so my partner, and just to myself really. I just kept overthinking everything. I was like. I'm not going to be a good enough mum, I'm not going to be able to support it, um, I'm not going to, you know, be able to give it everything that I want and everything that I've always wanted to give my child, um, and yeah, I was just worrying, and also I was worrying about my career, because, you know, I'm studying law, I want to go into law, I also, you know, I still want to do singing, I want to, I want to stay on YouTube, and I'm thinking, oh my god, I can't do any of that now, um, but when everything sunk in, like, towards the end of my first trimester, I started to realise that actually you still can do these things, it's just going to be different, you know, I've got to work around it, I'm going to have a child, it's going to be life changing and it's changed my life already for the better, I must say. Um, so yeah, towards the end of my first trimester, I started to relax a little bit more and I started to realise that actually um, things were going to be alright things were going to be okay, I'm with my partner, we're both going to, you know, support the child, you know, the best we can, we're going to give it everything that we can, and um, overall, we're going to give it a good life, and that's, you know, that's our goal. Um, I, I felt really down, actually, obviously I told you I've got depression in my last video, I also suffer from anxiety, um, so I'd started to kind of get that under wraps and kind of control it. And obviously when I found out I was pregnant, it was a bit of a shock. And my depression in my first trimester was quite bad. Um, there were times of the day that I was okay. There were times of the day which I was like, I can't do this. Like, literally I can't do it. And I, and I felt like just thrown in the towel and saying, this is it. You know, I'm, 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 I can't, I can't do it. Um... So yeah, I was very, very emotional. I felt really depressed. But then I was like bipolar. It was like my emotions were everywhere. Um, one minute I would be like, I can't wait to have a child. This is amazing. Next minute I'm like, I can't have it. I can't have it. I won't be able to do it. And it's like, I was just contradicting myself all the time. I was just mixed emotions. Um, so overall... My first trimester wasn't, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, overall, I, I, I don't want to go through it ever again. Um, and I don't want to scare anyone, because everyone's journey is different and everyone's story is going to be different. But I just found that it was very overwhelming for me. And I just always want to be a perfectionist. I always want to do well and I always want the best. So when I'm having a kid, a child... I want the best of my child, so I'm just like overthinking everything. Um, but then I just I decided, you know what? What's the point in overthinking everything? It's not going to help. You know, um, everything is going to be okay. Body wise, I noticed um, my stomach protruding slightly out. So it, well, there was a slight bloating um, in my stomach area but obviously it's so minute um in my stomach and it's just hardly grown yet that it wasn't noticeable for anyone else but myself I only noticed a slight protruding out I can fit I could fit into my clothes at the beginning of my first trimester and most of it but towards the end of my first trimester I noticed that I started, I couldn't fit into most of my jeans anymore, most of my trousers, so I had to then start thinking about maternity clothes, I had to start thinking about um, other clothes to wear, because I literally couldn't even do the do my jeans up, couldn't even do my pants up anymore, I was literally like, okay, this isn't going to work, um, so yeah, towards the end of my first trimester, it started to bloat quite a lot, and I just couldn't fit into anything, I noticed my rib cage started to to go out slightly, obviously that's just how the body the body evolves when you're pregnant, um, for when you're giving birth, and for the baby, for the space, so my rib cage started going, so my bra, I had to get paternity bras um, towards the end of the first trimester, again, I couldn't fit into any of my bras anymore, 
Um, so my breasts started getting a lot bigger. I've now gone from a double D, if they feel like a double E, they just feel absolutely massive. Um, so yeah, in my first trimester, I really noticed my body just changing slightly and it was, well not slightly, a lot. And um, it, you know, mixed, it, my body, my emotions were changing, my, my mind was changing. And physically, my body was just evolving and just changing. And it was really, it was really just a new experience, really. Um, was it overwhelming? Yeah, maybe slightly. I didn't really want to get any bigger. Um, but I, I didn't really put on any weight in my first trimester at all. Um, that comes into the second trimester, really. Um, but overall, it was good. My eating habits in my first trimester were quite crazy actually, I literally ate like a horse, um, I, anything that was edible I would eat, um, I didn't even think about it, I just needed food literally every second of the day, I was like eat, 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 if I didn't eat I was just a raging, I'm not going to say the B word, but I was not very nice, I just needed food now, 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 it's like my body would just, just didn't have enough, like every, every minute of every day, so that was kind of, annoying it sometimes because it was good because I like eating but when I was working and stuff when I was with my boyfriend and family I didn't want to get irritable because I hadn't eaten but I was like I need food now um so yeah it was just crazy it was just a whole lot of craziness and it was just like there was so many mixed emotions and but I was also excited and I couldn't wait to be a mum but at the same time I was like oh am I going to be able to be a good mum and it was just it was just madness. It was just madness. And I feel really mellow now and I'm just getting on with it. I'm letting my body do whatever it needs to do and accepting that I'm having a little little human being, a little baby. And in my first trimester, I don't think I quite got my head around that yet. It was just, I couldn't understand what was happening. That was my first trimester. If you have any more questions about my first trimester or anything to do with pregnancy, then do let me know. Um, I'm actually getting out of breath now. That's another thing when you're pregnant, you just keep getting out of breath. It's like I've done a marathon. It's really bad. Another thing in my first trimester, I didn't hardly do any exercise. The thought of doing exercise, I would just have laughed at someone if they said, come on, let's do some exercise. I was like, nah, not doing it. And if you watch my videos before, you know how much I love fitness, and I still do, and I've started doing a bit more now. And that's another video I want to do is um, exercises for pregnancy. I think that would be a really good one. But no, I was just like, no, nah, not doing not doing exercise. No, nope, just eating. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing is eating. So yeah, that was quite weird for me. That was a new experience in itself. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed my video, guys. Do um, let me know if you want to see a second trimester video or if you want to, if you just want to see another pregnancy video at all. Thank you again for all the comments. Any of you that have commented about you being pregnant at the same time as me. Some of you said that you're, some of you are due in April as well. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I feel like I'm not alone in this. Follow me on Instagram, Daniela Christina. Follow me on Danny underscore, follow me on Twitter, sorry, which is Danny underscore Christina. And follow me on Snapchat, which is Danny Christina 8 And I'll put that all in the down bar. Also put in um, what makeup I'm wearing on my face today if you guys want to know. Let me know any videos in particular that you really want me to do because I will do them and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!